Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the next part of 1.2 part 1 that we're looking at, you're given this function, f of x equals 5x squared minus 2x plus 7. And you're asked to find two things. Find f of negative 1, and then find f of the opposite of x. Now, part 1 is pretty much just a replay of what we did in Math 1033, or if you placed into this course something that the placement test thought that you had knowledge of. F is the name of the function, negative 1 is the x value that I'm plugging in. If I want to find out what the output, what the specific output is, this is the generic output. If I want the output to be specific for negative 1, I go to x and every place I see an x, I plug in a negative 1. So I would have 5 negative 1 being squared, you see that x is being squared, all of it, a minus 2, and then a negative 1, and then a plus 7. I teach my students when you're plugging into a function, whatever you're feeding the function, in this case you're feeding it negative 1, put it in in safety nets, put it in in parens, so that you don't mess up on the arithmetic. Now, Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Do exponents first. Negative 1 times negative 1, which is negative 1 squared, is 1. 5 times 1 is 5. Negative 2, negative 1 becomes a positive 2. And then, of course, we have the plus 7 at the end. 7 plus 7 gives me the answer of 14. So when I plugged in negative 1, I came out with the answer 14. Now, even though the correct answer here is just 14, if you think of this as an ordered pair, I want you to think of the ordered pair negative 1, 14. Negative 1 went in, 14 came out as its match, okay? And the ordered pair negative 1, 14 would also be on the graph of this parabola if you actually drew it. Okay, now we're asked to find f of the opposite of x. Well, we basically go through the same procedure. The original function was 5, and I, instead of calling this x, I'm just going to put these as parens, okay? So here's what the original function told us to do to get output. 5 times the input squared minus 2 times the input plus 7. And in this particular problem, you're going to this function and you're inputting the opposite of x. So in each one of these basically post office boxes, you fill in the opposite of x. Now, opposite of x times the opposite of x, of course, becomes x squared, and there's a 5 in front. So that first part becomes 5x squared. The minus times the minus is a plus 2x, and at the end we get a plus 7. This is my answer. Now sometimes this answer bothers people because they feel like they need to factor, they need to solve for x, but please pay attention to the directions. What were you asked to do? You were asked to take the opposite of x and plug it into f and tell me what came out. Bottom line, okay? So, when I went to f and I plugged in the opposite of x, my answer was 5x squared plus 2x plus 7. And in general, when you're plugging in something with a variable, your final answer is going to contain a variable, unless it's a constant function to begin with. Okay? So this is my final answer, and we're done with that part of 1.2 part 1.